Now, let me give you the good news because this is what mm -hmm. this is what changes. That even though you're guilty, I showed you bad news first, but here's the good news. Right. That even though you're guilty, God made a way for you to be wiped completely clean, even though you sinned. Mm -hmm. And this is what he did. 2,000 years ago, he knew we we're not going to be able to keep the standard. As a matter of fact, the commandments showed you, man, that you're guilty. And he did it on purpose. Now, I, I'll show you why he used the commandments. Okay. Let's just say you went to the doctor and you felt perfectly healthy. And the doctor said, hey, man, you got two weeks to live. But here's what I got. I want to show you the x-ray to show you that you need the cure. Mm -hmm. The doctor is not going to be able to give you the cure unless he shows you that you are sick. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. when, he, when he shows you the x-ray, you recognize you're sick. Then you're more apt to take the cure. Right. Well, I showed you the commandments to show you, man, that we have eternal sickness. And if we stand before God guilty, he'll send us to hell. But now I want to show you the cure. Okay. So God loved you so much, man, that he sent Jesus on the cross 2,000 years ago. Instead of punishing us for our sin, he took the wrath and punished his son. So in, in a sense, we broke the law. God sends his son, Jesus, to pay the fine. Okay. Let's just say you were charged with a bunch of speeding tickets. Mm -hmm. And... A million dollars, billion dollars worth of speeding tickets. You couldn't pay the fine. Right. But if Bill Gates came in and paid your fine, now the judge can do what? Get, to get you out of there. He can dismiss the case. Absolutely. Excuse me. Oh, you good. You good. No, no, you good. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm listening. Well, God sent Jesus to pay your fine in full when he died with his life's blood on the cross. Mm hmm So all of the sin of the world went on Jesus. Right. All the sins. And God crushed his son. He became guilty for man. And God took the hell you deserve and put it on his son. And the last words Jesus said on the cross is, Father, the price has been paid. The debt is paid. And now God can legally let man walk out of hell because of the death and resurrection of Jesus. But here's what you must do. Okay. The debt is paid, but you're still in the debt of your sin unless you let Jesus pay the price. Now, here's how you do that. You just admit to God. If you tell God and you're not a God, like God, I'm terrified. I deserve hell. I did it. I am mm -hmm. guilty. Did it. I'm not trying to pay you off. Mm -hmm. I'm just at your mercy. But if you'll give me Jesus, if you allow him to pay my fine from this point on, as best as I know how, I do the best I can not to try to pay you off, but, but to show to you how much I appreciate, appreciate what you've done. Absolutely. It's like. Like a hand in a glove. Like you could tell a glove to do something all day long. It's not going to do it unless you put your hand, hand in it. <laughs> yeah. But when Je so when Jesus is willing to put his hand in you, but you must humble yourself and tell God, I'm ready to follow you. And he will pay your debt in full. Mm -hmm. And on the cross, he paid it. Right. So one of two things is going to happen. Either you're going to pay for your sin in hell, or you're going to let Jesus pay for it on the cross and escape hell. Right. Because of, that's how much he loved you. For God so loved the world that he gave, that mm -hmm. he gave his son, that whoever mm -hmm. believed in him will not perish. That's a promise. And he doesn't break his, his breaks his promises. Absolutely. He's willing to offer you as a free gift if you be willing to humble yourself and acknowledge that you do need him. And you don't ever have to worry about facing the second death because he that's what he does. This is why he came. Because he knew we couldn't keep the standard. Knew we couldn't. <laughs> he couldn't keep it. So right. he made a plan to rescue man. Mm. And that was it, it changed my life. So now I don't go around telling people about Jesus because I'm just trying to get to heaven. That's religion. Mm -hmm. I'm going around telling people about Jesus because <laughs> Why could I not share this good news? It's good news. If it's good news. I got to share it. W why not? If that's the way you feel. Yes. And, and it might bring joy to some people. It might <laughs> yeah. bring change to somebody. Man, it's changed me. It's changed me, man. And I ain't never been the same since. That's, that's, a, that's a good thing. What you thinking? That's a great, that's a great <laughs> thing. I just, uh, 100%. For real? You hit it on the head, 100%. Uh, it's just a lot of work I got to do on myself. Yeah. Yeah. Everything yep. you said was spot, spot on. on. Spot on. I mean, it's uh, it's just our choices that we make. Yeah, to, brother. To, to, it's not so much a sacrifice. You just got to make better choices. Yeah. Better choices. Uh, right. Uh, and, and, and like I said, it's not sacrifice. You just got to make better choices in, yep. in, in the things you do on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. now, now, here's the beauty of following Jesus. I'll give you an example. Because, like, right now, you may be still thinking, like, okay, I just got to get a couple of things straight. And then God will accept me. Man, it's not like that. Let mm -hmm. me tell you what it's like. Okay. Like, if you get shot and you had a bullet and you was bleeding out, mm -hmm. 
I said, brother, man, you gotta, you gotta go to the doctor and get that bullet out and stop that bleeding. And you say, well, let me take the bullet out and stop the bleeding, and then I'll go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. How does that sound? Are you gonna be able to stop your bleeding and take the bullet out before you go? Why no. would you? Why would you do that before you go to the doctor? You need to go to the doctor to get the bullet out and stop the bleeding. Right. Right. Well, what I'm saying is, it's not that you have to clean yourself up and then go to Jesus. Mm. Dude, you already bleed now. Yeah, that's 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 what I think a big percentage of people think. Exactly. Is, is that you can't go to him because you're not. No. You haven't. You're still sinning. Exactly. You're still fornicating. You're still doing this. You, and and I think that's the biggest part of it. That's the that biggest huge part. We don't know. A lot of people don't know that. No. Just go to him. Mm -hmm. Just say, yeah. God, I'm 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 giving up best I know how and I'm it's almost mm -hmm. like man if you jumped in that water and you couldn't swim mm -hmm. and man I, I jumped out to try to save you but you still trying to save yourself right you fight me you taking them both of, I said man just surrender <laughs> cross your arms and let me pull you to the sideline yeah just and, and like you're saying that's a little bit easier said than done it is a lot easier said it is so done. easier said than done but but it's just something you would have to do to make it. Yep. Well, you got to, you got, it's, a, it's, it's really a choice you, you must make. Yeah. You must just tell it's, God, God, I cannot help myself. Mm -hmm. My sin is too, it feels good. It tastes good. And I can't give it up unless I, I unless you take it away from me. That's where it starts at. Mm -hmm. And if you'll be willing to just tell God as best you know how, with the little faith you have, mm -hmm. then God will pick up from there and put his hand in you. See, let me just say this. You don't work to salvation. You work from salvation. You have any idea what the difference is? No. You don't work to salvation. You don't work to try to make yourself good with God. Mm -hmm. You already messed that up. I already messed that up. You can't work enough to clean yourself clean. up. Okay. But once God saves you, now you can work from the power he gives you. And go forward. And go there. forth from there. He puts his hand in you and he can accomplish in you what you can't do in yourself. See, right now, you may be trying to clean yourself all day long and you'll die and mm -hmm. go to hell. Mm -hmm. But if you'll just acknowledge God, I can't do it. Then yeah. he'll put his hand in you, and now he'll start taking away the stuff that you struggle with. See, I was a porn addict. Man, I chased mm -hmm. sports, dude, and it got me to the point I wanted to kill myself. Until right. I had to come to the rock bottom. And then I said, okay, God, I'm ready for I'm, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm ready to follow you. And you know what he did? He put his hand in me like a glove. I ain't watched porn for 14 years. Like, the stuff he just started cleaning up because he put his hand in me. So I didn't work to get porn out of my life. Uh -huh. No, no, no. I surrendered, and then he worked in me. To rid the porn and all of the addictions wow. that I had. Yeah. But I, I it's just start with a choice. Right. Just say, God, I'm ready. What yeah. you thinking? God, I'm ready. God, I'm ready. You for real? I'm ready. Can I can I can I pray with you? Yes, sir. And man, whatever you feel like that you are it's hard to give up. You just tell God, like right now, just say, God, and I'll 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 pray with you, but I want to show you what to say. God, I've been trying to do this all my life, and I find myself going right back to the same circle and I'm broken can you put your hand in me forgive me for my sin and I'm ready for you to follow I'm ready to follow you as best I know how and even though I'm, I'll never be perfect I am willing to be perfected because of what Jesus did and I'll give you one last illustration I'll pray with you see my sons they're not trying to like earn earn my love they already got it you know why my kids they've been born into my family right well, the Bible says you must be born again to enter into the kingdom. So my kids, they break stuff around the house all the time. Who keeps paying for it? Okay. Me, because I'm their I'm they daddy. But their performance and their behavior is not determined on how much I love them. They can break stuff around the house all the time, but they'll never get kicked out of my house. I mean, discipline them, mm -hmm. but they're not getting kicked out of my house because they've been born into my, my family. Right. So let me see your head if you don't mind. So when God saves you, he hold, let's just say I, you play Jesus and you hold my wrist. Okay. Well, Jesus will save you. Okay. Who's more faithful to the relationship? You or Jesus? Jesus. Jesus is. Yeah. So when you're born again, dude, there's going to be times you let go. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and let go. Absolutely. But the reason why you don't get into heaven is not because you hold on to Jesus. Because he's got you. Come on, baby. That's exactly right. <laughs> That's exactly right. He'll never let you go, even though you may let him go sometimes. But mm -hmm. you must start with the initial commitment and recognize that you need him, you can't help yourself, man. And if you'll do that, mm -hmm. he'll never let you go, even though you may let him go. He'll take this hand and discipline you and put you back online, but he'll never, you'll never have to act, try to perform for his love. He got his whole love for you. That's why he died for you.
Oh, wait, wrong one. 